Hey yo, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? Shout out to y'all. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fantastic. I stumbled upon this article by Yahoo News that is now being reported by every single news outlet. Just keep this in mind. Someone went to university, graduated from university, and is now writing articles about how TikTokers are telling viewers to point their genitals at the sun to increase your vibration. <laughs> news for you in 2022. Get your comfy blanket, your pillow, and let's just get right into this. TikTokers are telling viewers to point their genitals at the sun to increase your vibrations experts warn against it and this is yesterday this is how we're starting off september in other words point your butt at the sun just spread them cheeks open influencers are encouraging people to expose this area to the sun to absorb its natural energy this is why i hate the term influencers this is the perfect perfect example of this whenever i think of influencers i think of the worst of the worst the internet has to offer when people on a run call themselves influencers i'm like you're cringe like yeah i'm a social media influencer okay i definitely don't want to be your friend <laughs> <laughs> you seem very unlikable. But wait, it gets better. Health experts say this practice has absolutely no positive effect and could be dangerous to the skin. Who would have known? But at the same time, if you take advice from TikTokers or influencers, you ain't it. You probably deserve to damage your booty hole if you actually take advice from TikTokers. <laughs> like at that point, I don't feel bad for you. And then I go to find out that there's people who legitimately do this on TikTok in front of millions of people. Go outside, you spread your legs, and you just let the sun go on your butthole and your vagina. Yes. We were born to be in the sun, especially the places that don't see the sun that often. My husband just loves that I do all this weird stuff. Of course you're tanning your too hot. Yep. Have fun getting booty cancer now. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get cancer? Well, you know, I uh, I did a trend on TikTok, exposed my butthole to the internet, and I also exposed it to the sun for two minutes per day to get that vitamin D. Dude, just drink orange juice or take supplements, take vitamins, gummy bears with vitamin D, E, F, whatever you can think of. There's ways to get your vitamin D and exposing your booty hole to the sun ain't one of them. I wish I could say these people are getting like 10 views and no one cares, but it's going viral. And you bet your ass there's going to be young people, people who don't know better, who follow these influencers blindly. And they're going to be like, you know what? Today, I'm going to have to tan my booty. I, I have to. I have to. Just this TikToker told me to. And this person who you're looking at right now is one of the biggest creators who promoted this and who's pushing for this movement. And this person deleted the video. Thankfully, I was able to find a re-upload and she got so embarrassed because this video went viral. This woman will forever be known as the girl who started the booty sun trend on TikTok. Oh, hi. I don't, I don't know, know if you guys have heard of perineum sunning, but it's, it's when you expose your butthole to sunlight. 30 seconds is equivalent, equivalent to walking around in the sun with your clothes on all day long. <sighs> Vitamin D. Soaking it up. I don't know why there was a kid screaming towards the end. What if a kid just came out of the pool? Because it looks like this woman's on the edge of the pool. And imagine you're just a little kid swimming. You go up for some fresh agua, some fresh air. And you just see your mom spreading her cheeks all over your face, all over TikTok. And once again, this video got like 5 million views before it was taken down. And to me, the worst part is the fact that some comments unironically say, yes, I'm going to try this. This makes so much sense to me. I'd rather not get taint cancer. <laughs> some people with common sense over here and you live where oh come on my brother come on Belly only fought you over you let they're haters man don't worry about us we will have the most golden taints with cancer don't forget that jamie but this is exactly what i mean there's people who scroll through tiktok a lot of people who see videos on tiktok and they recreate that or because a creator says go and point your penis at the sun and I'll grow 25,000 more inches. They'll go and do it even though there's no proof, there's no data, and doctors and experts are telling people not to do it because this could damage you. But they still do it because they just saw it on TikTok and it's like, you know, a lot of people are talking about it, let me jump on this trend. And honestly, I don't feel bad for these people, the people who fall for stuff like this, because had I not had internet and someone would have shown me this video, point my ass at the sun, I would be like, that sounds dumb, that makes no sense, there 
is no way I point my butt to the sun and I get charged and, you know, my battery goes up and I'm feeling good and I'm recharged and ready to take on the world. There's no way that happens. If you're looking for vitamin D, there's products. Like, there's so many things you can do and we have advanced technology-wise and we're doing old shit when we have so many tools at our disposal. This is not 1420. This is 2022. But guys, this video right here that we're about to look at might be the worst one I've seen. Oh, hi. I don't know if you guys have heard of perineum sunning, but it's when you expose your butthole to sunlight. 30 seconds is equivalent to walking around in the sun with your clothes on all day long. Mm. Vitamin D, soaking it up. You're a grown ass woman, you're like 40, and you can't tell what's good or bad for you. I ain't gotta get naked for no tennis bracelet, but I need 20. She was claiming the benefits were Anklet. search of energy, okay? He gave no me proof. Neck, now I got protect. Better sleep. Just only won't get this because they tried it, not really my thing. Every TikToker who makes a video on this, they're just making up new excuses and new quote unquote benefits. Oh, if you do this, it will give you superpowers. If you do this, it will make you sleep in two seconds. If you try this, you will have laser eyes. Like <laughs> Perineum sunning, but it's when you expose your butthole to sunlight. Things not to do part one. Sunning base, more than your bun monster. has no science behind that it's helpful. In fact, you can hurt yourself. Actor Josh Brolin tried it and he got a severe sunburn down under, proving that cable from Deadpool is incredibly tough. In what world are we taking YouTubers and TikTokers seriously more than doctors and scientists? But this whole trend of people telling them to do this and people are gonna fall for it because there's idiots out there. There's fucking idiots who will do anything a TikToker tells them to. Expose your boobs to x-rays for an hour and they'll get bigger. I'm sure if that was a trend, people will do it. And here we have more proof that this challenge this trend is so stupid and no one should be doing it. Do not take this seriously. Dr. Diana from Doctor For You told Insider at the time, yes, practicing mindfulness and medication and getting your dose of vitamin D is beneficial for mental and physical health, but you do not need to damage your skin in the process from sun exposure. She explained that exposing your skin directly can increase risk of skin cancer. So who do you want to believe, the doctors? or a TikToker with 10,000 followers telling you to spread those cheeks. <laughs> you be the judge of that one. Do not believe this, it does not help. I've been looking into it and everyone says it doesn't work. You gain nothing, just a lifetime of embarrassment. So if that's what you want, I recommend you go on TikTok and start spreading those cheeks. If you don't, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends or your mom. I don't know, maybe she loves my videos. I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Peace out. Nive, excuse me. I need to go outside and spread my cheeks. All right, <laughs> peace.